into recycling? Well, here's a relatively easy way you can take old timber and turn it into a great looking mirror. The first thing you want to do is work out your mirror size. I've decided to use one 600 by 750. Once that's done, it's time to talk about our timber. I'm going to use this lovely old carry weatherboard here. We're going to throw that through the thicknesser and that's going to come up absolutely beautiful, just like this. Right, I've cut my timber around about 100, 150 mil longer than the mirror. This is going to allow me plenty to play with. Next thing I'm going to do is cut the rebate in my timber. This is going to allow my mirror to sit in there nice and flush. Now I've used a router to cut my rebate, but you can use a bench saw if you don't have one. Then cut the ends on a 45. Right, I've cut a 45 degree on each of these pieces of timber. That's created my first corner. Right, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mark about two millimetres past the mirror. Put a 45 degree line on there. Cut that on the saw and it's going to be the start of our second corner. Right, we're just about ready to start assembling our frame. Now one way you can do this at home is by putting some glue on our cuts, put it in your mitre clamps, put a pin in there, cramp that up and leave it overnight. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use this biscuit joiner. This here cuts a slot in the end of our mitre and then we throw this biscuit in and that joins it all up and gets it nice and flush. Right, just before we glue all this up, I'm going to use this nice little hand plane here and just put a little edge on here and I'm just going to do the same down our mitre. That little detail there is called an arras. Right, it's time to glue up our corners. To do this, I'm going to use a little bit of the old PVA. Just get that in that slot there and do that to both of the corners and slot in our biscuit. And let's just join those up and tighten up our clamps. Just going to hold it nice and tight overnight until that glue sets. And just repeat the same process for the other three corners. Now that little arras in the corner there has created a beautiful little detail and just wipe off any excess glue with a wet rag. Right, the frame has come out of our clamps. I've let it glue up overnight and I've just finished sanding it. Time to put on some oil. Now I'm giving this a beautiful finish using Danish oil but you can use whatever type of oil or varnish or polyurethane or stain that you choose. The good thing about this Danish oil is you can just throw it on with a brush and use a rag to take off any excess oil. Right, time to place the mirror very gently in the frame. We're just going to take our glazing push points here. I'm just using the end of the square nice and flat just to push that in gently. Lovely. So there you have it, a brand new mirror using recycled timber. Easy as.